Earth-space weather this week is finally beginning to calm down a bit. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, you can see this big coronal hole that's been rotating through the Earth's strike zone. It is finally beginning to rotate to the sun's far side. So that fast solar wind that it's been sending us over the past couple days is finally beginning to calm down. We have been getting some aurora, especially at high latitudes, over the last couple days and before that, we had that massive G3 level solar storm. So my goodness, we've been getting aurora since, geez, the end of uh, last month. So this is a nice respite. But before things completely calm down, we do have a couple regions that are still big flare players. Region 3243, that's been firing off a couple uh, big flares and some solar storms. They're not earth directed, so we don't have to worry about it. It just makes for really good eye candy. And we are now watching Region 3242, as it rotates in through center disk, it is in the Earth strike sound now. And if it launches a solar storm, it will be Earth directed. So we're watching it. We are expecting that it's going to increase its activity as it begins to rotate to the west limb because that's been the trend of late. However, as we take a look at our far sided sun, this is stereo A, and we're looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see there's not a lot of activity going on. It's pretty much the same view that we have here at Earth. But if you take a look at the East Limb and Stereo's view, you are seeing some bright regions. In fact, in the north, you can just barely see the glow. The bright region that's going to be rotating into Earth view in a few days is going to be a returning big flare player. Now, we haven't seen a lot of launches coming off of it yet, but it is very strong. According to the JSOC Farside Helioseismology Monitor, you can see that dark uh, patch there that shows you up in the north that we do have that region and it's pretty strong so we'll be interested to see as it rotates into earth view over the next three days how it's going to uh, play out because it could be yet another big flare player with some more exciting adventures and now for your leo Mio geo orbit outlook as we take a look at the near-Earth space environment, we're really going to focus in on the radiation belts because we just had that big G3-level solar storm, and as the solar storm wanes, those radiation belts really begin to energize particles. In fact, back on the first, you can see the particles in the radiation belts really weren't all that intense. You can tell by the green and blue colors you see here, but you can also start watching them begin to ramp up, and it begins to turn orange and then red. In fact, by the fifth, the outer zone in GEO really started having some intense fluxes. We crossed that 2 MeV threshold for uh, intense flux, which means satellite operators in GEO, especially in the post-midnight pre-dawn sector, you're dealing with internal charging now. It's not just surface charging, and this is easily going to be lasting over the rest of this week before things begin to calm down. It's going to take a while because we don't have any other big solar storms on the menu to flush out all these particles. So you're just going to have to live with it easily over this next week. So just keep monitoring the situation. For more details on this week's space weather, including how the recent activity could affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.